Santa Maria Sopra Minerva is one of the major churches of the Roman Catholic Order of Preachers at Rome, Italy. The church's name derives from the fact that the first Christian church structure on the site was built directly over the ruins or foundations of a temple dedicated to the Egyptian goddess Isis, which had been erroneously ascribed to the Greco-Roman goddess Minerva. The church is located in Piazza della Minerva one block behind the Pantheon in the Pigna Ryan of Rome within the ancient district known as the Campus Martius. The present church and disposition of surrounding structures is visible in a detail from the Nolly map of 1748. While many other medieval churches in Rome have been given Baroque makeovers that cover Gothic structures, the Minerva is the only extant example of original Gothic church building in Rome. Behind a restrained Renaissance-style facade the Gothic interior features arched vaulting that was painted blue with gilded stars and trimmed with brilliant red ribbing in a 19th-century neo-Gothic restoration. The church and adjoining convent served at various times throughout its history as the Dominican Order's headquarters. Today the headquarters have been re-established in their original location at the Roman convent of Santa Sabina. The current cardinal priest of the titular Sancti Marii Supraminovum has been Cormac Murphy O'Connor since 2001, when he was Archbishop of Westminster, the senior position in the English Catholic Church, from which he has since retired. History in Roman times there were three temples in what is now the area surrounding the basilica and former convent buildings. The Minervium, built by Nius Pompey in honor of the goddess Minerva about 50 BC, referred to as Delubram Minervae, the Isium dedicated to Isis, and the Serapium dedicated to Serapis. Details of the temple to Minerva are not known but recent investigations indicate that a small round Minervium once stood a little further to east on the piazza of the Collegia Romano. In 1665 an Egyptian obelisk was found, buried in the garden of the Dominican cloister adjacent to the church. Several other small obelisks were found at different times near the church, known as the Obelisca Isei Campensis which were probably brought to Rome during the first century and grouped in pairs, with others, at the entrances of the Temple of Isis. There are other Roman survivals in the crypt. The ruined temple is likely to have lasted until the reign of Pope Zachary, who finally Christianized the site, offering it to Basilian nuns from Constantinople who maintained an oratorium there dedicated to the Virgin of Minervum. The structure he commissioned has disappeared. In 1255 Pope Alexander IV established a community of converted women on the site. A decade later this community was transferred to the Roman Church of San Pancrazio thereby allowing the Dominicans to establish a convent of friars and a studium conventual there. The friars were on site beginning in 1266 but took official possession of the church in 1275. Older Brandino Cavalcanti, Vicarius Urbus, or vicar for Pope Gregory X, and an associate of Thomas Aquinas ratified the donation of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva to the Dominicans of Santa Sabina by the Sisters of S. Maria in Campo Marzio. The ensemble of buildings that formed around the church and convent came to be known as the Insula Sapiente, or Insula Dominicana. The Dominicans began building the present Gothic church in 1280 modeling it on their church in Florence, Santa Maria Novella. Architectural plans were probably drawn up during the pontificate of Nicholas III by two Dominican friars, Fra Sisto Fiorentino and Fra Ristoro da Campi. With the help of funds contributed by Boniface VIII and the faithful, the side aisles were completed in the 14th century. In 1453 church interior construction was finally completed when Cardinal Juan Torquemada ordered that the main nave be covered by a vault that reduced the overall projected height of the church. In the same year of 1453 Count Francesco Orsini sponsored the construction of the facade at his own expense. However work on the facade remained incomplete until 1725 when it was finally finished by order of Pope Benedict XIII. 
The sacristy of the church was the site of two papal conclaves. The first, held in the March 1431, elected Pope Eugene IV, the second, in March 1447, Pope Nicholas V. The Minerva has been a titular church since 1557 and a minor basilica since 1566. The church's first titular cardinal was Michel Ghislieri who would become Pope Pius V in 1566 and raise the church to the level of minor basilica. That same year, in the 16th century Giuliano da San Gallo made changes in the choir area and in 1600 Carlo Modeno enlarged the apse added Baroque decorations and created the present façade with its pilastered tripartite division in Renaissance style. Marks on this façade dating back to the 16th and 17th centuries indicate various flood levels of the Tiber 65 feet. Between 1848 and 1855 Girolamo Bianchetti directed an important program of restoration when most of the Baroque additions were removed and the blank walls were covered with neo-Gothic frescoes giving the interior the neo-Gothic appearance that it has today. The basilica's stained glass windows are mostly from the 19th century. In 1909, the great organ was constructed by the renowned firm of Carlo V. Gazzibossi. The organ was restored in 1999. Convent and Studium in 1288 The theology component of the provincial curriculum for the education of the friars was relocated from the Studium, provincial at the Roman Basilica of Santa Sabina to the Studium Conventual at Santa Maria Sopra Minerva which was redesignated as a Studium particularized theologiae. At various times in its history this studium served as a studium general for the Roman province of the Order. College of St. Thomas The late 16th century saw the studium at Santa Maria Sopra Minerva undergo transformation. Thomas Aquinas, who had been canonized in 1323 by Pope John XXII, was proclaimed the fifth Latin doctor of the Church by Pius V in 1567. To honor this great doctor, in 1577 the Spanish-Dominican Monsignor Juan Solano, O.P., former Bishop of Cusco, Peru, generously funded the reorganization of the Studium at the convent of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva on the model of the College of St. Gregory at Valladolid in his native Spain. The result of Solano's initiative, which underwent structural change shortly before Solano's death in 1580, was the College of St. Thomas at Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, the future Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas. The college occupied several existing convent structures and new construction was required. At that time the convent underwent considerable reconstruction to accommodate the college and the cloister was redesigned so that side chapels could be added to the church's northern flank. A detail from the Nolly map of 1748 gives some idea of the disposition of buildings when the Minerva convent housed the College of St. Thomas. On 14 September 1628, by papal decree, the convent of Minerva was designated as the seat of the Congregation of the Holy Office. It thus became the place where the Tribunal of the Roman Inquisition set up by Paul III in 1542 held the secret congregation meetings during which the sentences were read out. It was in a room of the Minerva convent on the 22nd of June 1633 that the father of modern astronomy Galileo Galilea, after being tried for heresy, abjured his scientific theses in favor of the Copernican theory. In the late 18th and early 19th century the suppression of religious orders hampered the mission of the order and the College of St. Thomas. During the French occupation of Rome from 1797 to 1814 the college declined and even briefly closed its doors from 1810 to 1815. 
The order gained control of the convent once again in 1815 only to be expropriated by the Italian government in 1870. In 1873 the Collegium di Vita made a herb was forced to leave the Minerva for good eventually being relocated at the convent of St. Dominican, Sixtus in 1932 and being transformed into the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas. Angelicum in 1963. The Dominicans eventually were allowed to return to the Minerva and part of the convent. Minor vis Pulcino in front of the church there is one of the most curious monuments of Rome, the so-called Pulcino della Minerva. It is a statue designed by the Baroque era sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini of an elephant as the supporting base for the Egyptian obelisk found in the Dominican's garden. It is the shortest of the eleven Egyptian obelisks in Rome and is said to have been one of two obelisks moved from Sais where they were built during the 589 BC to 570 BC reign of the pharaoh Apries from the 26th dynasty of Egypt. The two obelisks were brought to Rome by Diocletian during his reign as emperor from 284 to 305 for placement at the Temple of Isis which stood nearby. The Latin inscription on the base, chosen by the Pope who commissioned the sculpture to support the obelisk found on the site, Alexander VII, is said to represent that, a strong mind is needed to support a solid knowledge. The inspiration for the unusual composition came from Hypnorotomachia Polyphili, an unusual 15th-century novel probably by Francesco Colonna. The novel's main character meets an elephant made of stone carrying an obelisk, and the accompanying woodcut illustration in the book is quite similar to Bernini's design for the base for the obelisk. The curious placement of the obelisk through the body of the elephant is identical. The sturdy appearance of the structure earned it the popular nickname of Porcino for a while. The name for the structure eventually changed to Pulcino, the Italian for a small or little chick. This may have been a reference to the comparatively short height of the obelisk or an obscure reference to the major charity of the Dominicans to assist young women needing dowries who made a procession in the courtyard every year. The latter were once depicted in a local painting as three tiny figures with the Virgin Mary presenting purses to them. Interior Among several important works of art in the church are Michelangelo's statue Cristo della Minerva and the late 15th century cycle of frescoes in the Carafa Chapel by Filippino Lippi. The basilica also houses many funerary monuments including the tombs of Doctor of the Church St. Catherine of Siena, who was a member of the Third Order of St. Dominic, and the Dominican friar Blessed John of Fiesole better known as Fra Angelico. Carafa Chapel The Carafa Chapel, with late 15th century frescoes by Filippino Lippi, was commissioned by Cardinal Oliviero Carafa in honor of St. Thomas Aquinas. There are two Marian scenes, the Annunciation and the Assumption. Over the altar is his St. Thomas presenting Cardinal Carafa to the Blessed Virgin, and on the right hand wall his glory of St. Thomas. It was inaugurated in 1493, and is also known as the Chapel of St. Thomas Aquinas. The relics of St. Thomas Aquinas were kept in this chapel until 1511, when they were moved to Naples. Designed by Piero Ligorio in 1559, the tomb of Gian Pietro Carafa, who became Pope Paul IV in 1555, is also in the chapel. Capella Capronica The chapel is also known as the Chapel of the Rosary. The stucco ceiling was made in 1573 by Marcello Venista. The chapel contains the tomb of Cardinal Domenico Capronica by Andrea Bregno. Michelangelo's Cristo della Minerva The Cristo della Minerva, also known as Christ the Redeemer or Christ carrying the cross, is a marble sculpture by Michelangelo Buonarita, finished in 1521, located to the left of the main altar. Cappella Aldebrandini The Aldebrandini Chapel was designed by Giacomo della Porta but it is Carlo Modeno that completed della Porta's project. It was consecrated in 1611. 
the canvas depicting the institution of the Eucharist and dated from 1594 is by Federico Fiori. The monument to the parents of Pope Clement VIII, Silvestro Aldobrandini and Luisa Dati, is by Giacomo della Porta. The first confraternity of the Blessed Sacrament to be approved by the Holy See was established in this chapel, with Saint Ignatius of Loyola as one of its earliest members. This chapel contains the Federico Baracci altarpiece depicting the communion of the Apostles. Capella Raymond de Peñafit The chapel dedicated to Raymond de Peñafit houses the tomb of Cardinal Juan Díaz de Coca, by Andrea Bregno. The ceiling fresco Jesus Christ as a Judge, between two angels is by Melozzo da Falai. Other major artworks Annunciation, by Antoniazzo Romano, shows Cardinal Juan de Torquemada representing girls who received a dowry by his Guild of the Annunciation to the Virgin. The cardinal is buried nearby. The tombs of the popes Leo X and Clement VII by Antonio da Sangallo the Younger. Tomb of Urban VII. Tomb of Fra Angelico by Isaiah da Pisa. Tomb of Guillaume de Rand the Elder, Bishop on Menda, signed by Giovanni di Cosma. Memorial to Maria Raggi by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Tomb of Francesco Tornabuoni, one of the best works by Mino da Fiesole. Burials. Saint Catherine of Siena is buried here. Beyond the sacristy, the room where she died in 1380 was reconstructed here by Antonio Barberini in 1637. This room is the first transplanted interior, and the progenitor of familiar 19th and 20th century museum, period rooms, the frescoes by Antoniazzo Romano that decorated the original walls, however, are now lost. The famous early Renaissance painter Fra Angelico died in the adjoining convent and was buried in the church. Popes Herban VII, Paul IV and the Medici Popes Leo X and Clement VII were also buried in the church. Before the construction of San Giovanni dei Fiorentini, the Minerva was the church in Rome of the Florentines, and therefore it contains numerous tombs of prelates, nobles and citizens coming from that Tuscan city. Curiously, Dieta Salvinerini, a refugee who had taken part in the plot against Piero de Medici, was buried here in 1482, and was later joined by other members of the family. Also buried here are the 13th century canonist Guillaume Durand, the cardinal nephew of Pope Nicholas III, Latino Malabranca Orsini. Michel Mazarin who was the brother of Cardinal Jules Mazarin, the Byzantine philosopher George of Trebizond, and two Renaissance theorists and practitioners, Philerit in architecture and Mariano Santo in surgery. List of Cardinal Priests from Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, 1557-1566 Michel Gislery, 1566-1589 Michel Bonelli. 1589-1602 Girolamo Bernerio, 1602-1608 François-Marie Thorsey, 1621-1639 Giulio Roma, 1643-1654 Gian Battista Altieri, 1655-1679 Jean-François Paul de Gondi. 1679-1694 Philip Howard of Norfolk, 1694-1699 Jose Sáenz de Aguirre, 1701-1729 Louis Antoine de Noailles, 1729-1730 Augustine Pipia, 1730-1747 Philip Ludwig von Sinzendorf, 1747-1762 Daniele Delfino, 1758-1770 Giuseppe Pozzo Bonelli, 1770-1782 Scipione Borghese, 1783-1787 Tommaso Maria Gillini, 
1787-1800 Vincenzo Renuzzi, 1801-1814 Giulio Maria della Somalia, 1816-1822 Francesco Fontana, 1829-1832 Benedetto Barberini, 1832-1836 Giuseppe Maria Velzi, 1838-1850 Antonio Francesco Aureoli, 1850-1854 Raffaele Forneri, 1857-1860 Francesco Gord, 1861-1864 Gattano Bedini, 1868-1870 Matteo Eustachio Ganella, 1875-1885 John McCloskey, 1887-1894 Zeferina González y Diaz Tanon, 1895-1896 Egidio Mauri, 1896-1909 Serafino Cretoni, 1911-1918 John Murphy Farley, 1919-1922 Teodoro Valfredi Bonzo, 1922-1926 Stanislas Touchette, 1926-1929 Giuseppe Gamba, 1930-1938 Giulio Serafini, 1939-1946 Eugene Tesserant, 1946-1965 Clemente Micara, 1967-1974 Antonio Samor, 1976-1977 Dino Staffa, 1979-1998 Anastasio Bolestrero, 2001 Incumbent Cormac Murphy O'Connor, other churches with this name, in Assisi. Another church of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva was built in the 16th century within the surviving cellar of a late Republican temple of Minerva. Its Corinthian portico still stands. Gallery Tomb of Giovanni Viavana by Gian Lorenzo Bernini, 1618-1620. Memorial to Maria Raggi by Gian Lorenzo Bernini, 1647-1653. Tomb of Fra Angelico, by Isaiah da Pisa, 1455, Cristo della Minerva by Michelangelo, 1519-1520, High Altar, Vault, Basilica Interior, Madonna and Child Giving Blessings by Benozzo Gozzoli, 1449, Bibliography, Grundmann, Stefan, First Ulrich, The Architecture of Rome, An Architectural History in 400 Individual Presentations, Stuttgart, ed. Axel Menges, ISBN 3-930698-60-9, Massetta, P.O. Tommaso, Memory Historische della Chiesa di S. Maria Sopra Minerva Rida, Sua Moderna Restri, Rome, Tip, Di B. Marini, OCLC 24,239,739.